seven steps to a pro trading strategy. This is what we're gonna do in today's video. Roll that intro. going on guys Joe here and it's time to trade and get paid I'm gonna show you some really special stuff today this is a seven step strategy that professionals use and I'm gonna give it to you with a full seven step breakdown right here real simple and I'm gonna try to keep it real short for you no further ado let's jump to the charts before we do that though real quick hit that subscribe button make sure you like this video comment below and help us push this content to more and more people we're almost at 60k let's get there let's look at these charts all right guys so we're talking about a supply and demand strategy now if you follow my channel at all you know i'm a big believer in price action trading i'm a big believer in supply and demand and volume based movement i don't think that we have to be biased at all i think we should take bias out of the market but i do think that if we're gonna trade the right way we need to have volume in our favor so this is what we have to do right now number one anytime you see one of these big dump offs you know that there is going to be a move following because price doesn't dump off for no reason it doesn't just drop in fact I just did a little reel on my Instagram TikTok, whatever you can go check that out about dumping and what that is but basically this is a big dump off when you see a strong dump off nobody's selling for no reason it means that either one of two things is happening there's an overabundance of supply in the market and there's a dump off or there's an agreement made at a certain price and price has to get there quickly for the buyers to come in because there was already an agreement made. Either way, it's the same thing. It's a dump off or it's a, it's a, it's a price dump, basically getting us to a certain price level where buyers are gonna come in and take control of the market. So step one, anytime you see a big dump off, it's time to start looking for a demand zone to form. When you see a big dump off, I wanna know, is the dump off followed by a big range? If it is, then let's be careful. But if it is followed by a v-shaped rejection like you see here that could be because there's demand in the market and that's going to take us to our next step so step one dump off step two you see down here a big v-shaped rejection big dump off followed by step two a big v-shaped rejection in other words here's the buyers they take full control of the market right there and you can see down here that it happened very quickly there wasn't a lot of basing out there wasn't a lot of uh, consolidation or ranging in the market it happened very quick right after the dump off it was already a predetermined move that they already knew was going to happen and right here what you can do you see this yellow box what you can do here is the candle, the last bear candle, or the last candle before the big volume push, what we wanna do is we wanna see wicks on the top and on the bottom. When we see those wicks, what we're gonna do is take a box or you can use lines, that's up to you, but we wanna mark the top wick and the bottom wick. And then we just wanna drag our box over here so we can see it. That becomes what we call a demand zone. And typically, those demand zones are going to be tested again, okay? We'll come to that a little bit later. Once you see step one, step two is to look for the V-shaped rejection or the big buy showing that we're creating demand. Once we have demand created, we wanna know how price responds at that high point. What happens here is we have a big rally in the market, and then we have a sideways range. You can see that green arrow there showing us that we are in a sideways range. There is no real uh, control in the market at this point. What's happening here is that orders are being filled. Demand was created here, price pushed up, and now we're having orders being delegated to the different sellers. The buyers brought money to the table and the different sellers are making their deals at the agreed upon prices. That is a ranging market. Neither the buyers or the sellers are in control and you get these orders being filled at the various levels based on the agreed upon prices. The next thing you're looking at in this step four is you're looking for volume. You're looking for an action to happen. So you have this 
rally, base, and then you're either looking for another rally, so a rally, base, rally, or you're looking for a rally, a base, and then a drop. And you see here, in this case, it was a drop. Let's be careful about something here. Just because you see it break out does not mean that we have a breakout because typically the first breakout is a fake out, okay? Remember that. The first breakout is typically your fake out. So don't get faked out by that. Make sure that you have confirmed retest and rejection before you enter the market, okay? Don't just enter on a little breakout because you see here, you would have got down a little bit of profit and then instantly you would have came back up here. Now, it may have worked out because your stop loss may have probably been up here, but don't do all that. Why use the drawdown? What we wanna do is we wanna let that first move happen and wait for a retest so that we can confirm the direction. Without confirmed direction, we don't have real direction because now we have the ability to be faked out. So the next step is wait for that fake out to occur. It's going to happen. Wait for the fake out to occur. That is, what's happening there is that they're grabbing extra profits. They're going ahead and they're sniping out any of the opposite way positions, small money. They're taking it out so that they can come in and get the big bag. Okay. So wait for the first fake out. Another good way to do that is to look and see where you are. Look at this base. Okay. And when you look at it, you see that you're in the lower 127 quadrant. So drop a line at the even quarter point, 127 even, and look what happens here, it breaks out and now you have a buffer zone. Wait for that clear breakout and retest before you enter the market and that will give you an additional safety zone for you to get the right trade. Now, step number five, when we actually are looking for the entry, we have our dump off, we have our rally, we have our base, we, we have our fake out, and now we have a volume breakout. We see that price came down on the fake out, pushed back up into our zone. We got wicks here confirming that we're not gonna continue pushing back up. These wicks show bearish pressure in the market. Once we see that bearish pressure, now we're looking for a volume breakout for a real trade. What happens? Boom. This engulfing candle gives us that volume breakout. There is where your entry should be. When you see that engulfing, you know volume is now in the bear's favor and we are going to see another big drop, okay? So you got the rally, you got the base, and now you got the engulfing. Now, before we go ahead and look at the drop, let's look at a little pro tip here. A pro tip is you can take the entry right there. But one thing that we like to do at TGP is we like to use my little secret, my little secret trick. If you want me to show you this trick, I'm gonna need you to do something for me real quick. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe real quick, and comment below because this one is about to be a game changer for you. Man, listen, I'm telling you, this one's about to be a game changer. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to go hit that like button and that subscribe button, 10 seconds. Thank you for that subscription. We're getting ready to get into this pro tip. Here's what we do. Let's grab a fib, and I want you to look at your entry candle. See the top of that wick and the bottom of that wick right there? The top wick and the bottom wick of your entry candle. What I want you to do is I want you to drag a fib from the top to the bottom, just like that. That's it, just top to bottom, right? And I want you to drag it over so you can see it real good. I want you to put your entry, not at the engulfing candle, but at the line of the 50. When you see, let me get rid of that fib now. Now what happens, look, price is going to retest after it again, but it's not gonna retest all the way to the top. So what's gonna happen is volume comes in, here's the retest, and typically it's gonna come up to that 50% of your entry candle. Why? Because this is, this is fractals. This is a smaller time frame retest happening and it's just a golden zone on the smaller time frame. So what happens is you get this 50% retest, you enter as it rejects that 50 and now your risk reward is even better. You're risking 14 pips and your zone down at the bottom is 71 pips. Guys, this is a one to five risk reward because you're using that 50% entry. So that pro tip is fire. 
drop your fib top to bottom and wait for that 50% rejection before you enter the market. Watch, go back test it and see how it works. Now, the next thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna put your stop loss behind your structure at the top. You got your entry, you know what your stop loss is and you're gonna target not all the way down to the very tips of your wicks. You're just gonna target the top of your demand. You're just gonna try to get to the top of your demand. That's it. Right here, we have 71 pips to get. And as you can see, look what happened. It just dropped. It, it was beautiful. You got a little pullback right here, no big deal. If you were a scalper, you were in and out right here. If you were a day, a day trader, you were in and out right here. And everything was good from one session you're talking about from you're in London and within one session, within a four hour trade, you just watched yourself grab 71 pips, 71 pips, high level, high percentage, low risk, high reward. That's how you do it. You're going to see price come down to that to test that demand. Now, you want to keep going, you can see where, what does price do here? Does it reject and push back up? It's, you know, getting that demand and going back up? Or is it going to break through it and continue down? Well, you see the amount of bear pressure we have. I would say I'm not going to take a buy off of this entry, off of this demand zone, because I think that the longer you saw that base meant that we had more bear pressure. If this would have been shorter, then I think maybe we would have had to come back and retest it again. But because it based out for so long, I'm thinking that is done. So it might just continue dropping, we'll see. But what I'm saying is rally, base, drop. So here's your seven steps. Strong dump off. You got your demand created. Big push to the upside, V-shape rally creates demand. You got your base range, your orders being filled, long base showing continued bear pressure. Now, the next thing you have is your fake out. You see it push out, but it pushes back in. Don't get fooled by that. You're looking for your real true volume breakout. So you get the engulfing. The pro tip is that you look for that 50% entry. Here it is. Number six, you let the price drop. Here's your drop and there's your target down to your number seven, down to your demand zone and boom, there is how you trade a rally base drop or what we call a base pattern. This happens every day in the market. This happens every session in the market. If you trade London, you can use this. If you trade US, you can use this. If you trade Asian, stop trading Asian. What are you doing, man? Stop. London or US, use these base patterns and they will put you into profit. I'm telling you. All right, guys, there you have it. That's it, the base pattern. Seven steps to a pro trading strategy. I told you. Look, this is not that hard. You're just looking for price to, to move the way you're looking for it to move. It happens every day. And then you're reacting to those strong levels. You're just looking for the banks to move money and you're putting your money in to ride the momentum of the banks, okay? That's all this is. Overcomplicated. When we start talking about all this crazy stuff, all I'm telling you is let the banks move money. And when you see the bank, moving money put your money in with the bank's money and let their money make you money does that sound good if this video brought you value I'm asking you one more time hit that like button subscribe to the channel let's get to that 60,000 and if you want more in-depth content you want to really take your trading to the next level and you want to fast track your success you want me to mentor you you want to take my trades and be in my community with my students all you got to do is go to tradinggetpaid.com join today use the code TGP 60k it's only lasting for maybe a few more days TGP 60K to get 60% off your first month. I'm running that because I want you to help me get to 60K. Let's win together. I'll see you in the next video.